Yo, what is up, guys? My name is for Steam Facts. Hey, you guys, back with another Dragon Ball Z Universe video. This is actually using updates video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but today I'm going to be reviewing and informing you guys of the new DLC pack to uh, all the stuff is leaked. And today I'm joined by my good friend X Legacy. Go ahead. And, uh, what is going on, Easy Man? I'm Legacy, and today. Like you just said, we're going to be reviewing all what's coming out in DLC Pack 2 for Dragon Ball Z Universe, and I have mixed feelings about this. Yeah, um, so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, say everything that is inside this DLC. Now, we will actually be getting four new play playable characters, and those playable characters are East Shenron, or Eyes, or I don't know how to say it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, comments or whatever. It's Eyes Shenron, by the way. Eyes, alright, okay, there we go. And Nuova Shenron, and Toa and Mira. Now, I will, me and Legacy will actually give our thoughts about Toa and Mira after I am done listening to this now. Um, the second thing that we get is three new G GT Time Patrol quests. If you don't know what G GT Time Patrol quests, and you have pack one, well, you actually get two, or three different parallel quests. I think it's two, right? Or is it three? Three. Uh, alright, three. You get three parallel quests just for the GT saga that you get. So yeah, I, um, I guess that we're gonna get another GT, I guess storyline or something like that, um, for DLC pack number two. We also get uh, three new Time Patrol uh, quests, which is basically three more uh, story mode missions. We get Pan as a new master, which I mean, I'm kind of excited to see. I'm more excited about that than Yamcha <clears throat> for obvious reasons. Agreed. So yeah, I just want to see what Pan has in her arsenal because we really haven't seen her fight. I mean, that much at all in GT. Um, there's 22 new attacks, and I don't know if those attacks are for your character creation that you can unlock, or if those are just for the attacks of the new characters. I'm not sure, but um, they just said 22 new attacks. There's five new items or equi or of, of equipment, which means costumes, um, accessories, stuff like that. And there's six new Z souls. Now I'm actually really excited to see the six new Z souls because they might actually have new Z souls for Omega Shenron. They might have new Z souls for Baby Android 17. You know, maybe the new Shenrons. Or maybe even Super Saiyan for Goku. We we don't know, but um, that's all the stuff that is in the DLC. Now um, Leg Legacy, I know you want to elaborate or elaborate on the um the Toa and Mir incident. So um, you can go ahead and explain that if you want. Okay, what I don't get, and we were talking about this before it actually started the recording. Why is uh, I mix up these names because they're backwards because it's supposed to go with the guy and the girl. But I believe it's Mira. Why is Mira a playable kid? Doesn't she just control Toa? Well, it's the opposite. But oh, well, Toa, why, why does, doesn't Toa's she... The, Toa's the, the girl and Mira's the guy. Okay, it should be backward. Yeah, Toa, yeah. why is she a play playable character? Because all she did was just bitch and control Mira in the entire store, which I'm not going to be spoiling, don't worry. But another thing is why would you put Mira in there? Because Mira, if I know you guys have heard this, he has exact same moves as Omega Shenron, but it's, it's just different colors. Which I guess I'm not going to argue because more characters means more variety and it's just going to be cool reliving the battles. But Toa should be replaced with Demigra because Demigra is an actual, you could say, fighting character. I mean, Toa isn't fighting. She didn't fight once in the entire story. She just controlled, well, she didn't control it. She basically just told Mira to protect her. So, yeah. And um, another thing I want to talk about is like Toa, like, I guess that they're kind of doing with Toa. Kind of what they did in Dragon Ball Z Senkaichi 3. You know why I brought up Senkaichi 3 Legacy. Yeah! But anyway, but anyway, um, what they did in Senkaichi 3 is that they made a lot of characters which are, like, relevant to the storyline. For example, Bobbity. You could play as Bobbity, which is really freaking retarded because who the hell wants to play as Bobbity? But, I mean, so what they kind of did was, like, since Bobbity was, like, a mind controller, he, like, he had, like, mind control attacks. So maybe, um, Mira, I mean, Toa is more of, like, Toa is more of like a mind control character. Maybe she can, um, maybe she can like do stuff. Like maybe she can control your like do kind of like what Ginyu can. Maybe she can control your moves for a while or something like that. I really have no idea. Maybe her like at or, like her basic attacks or like her regular melees are gonna be like the stick that she holds, like her magic wand or whatever, because that's kind of what we uses to fight in the game. So I'm not really sure on what Toa is gonna be fighting as. I like how we were saying before, Demigra. Um, should actually be replacing Mira. I mean, I do understand that Mira actually played, or like he actually fought, like 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 what two battles, like three battles. So he did have a decent amount in the storyline. But Demigra should actually be in the in the game more than Mira should be. But I mean, that's just my thoughts. And the thing is that we feel like, or me and Legacy feel like that Toa and Mira might be in the second DLC. But for the third DLC, they're gonna give us more characters, including. 
Demigra and maybe some more GT characters. So I don't I don't really know where this could go. What I kind of wanted to talk about, which I guess is a bit weird for the people that don't have the DLC. I mean, the DLC. The f what the fuck am I talking about? Day one edition of Xenoverse. Well, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now, if you have not watched GT, um, you don't know that. Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4, and Goku fight Omega Shenron in the show. Which, what, that's what they're basing it off of. So, how are they going to play that out? So, normally you play as a custom created character, which is, you know, got a good all dandy. But, how are they going to play out Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? Are they going to put him in, actually in the game? Because he's not in the game, okay, right now. He's technically not... Part of the original character roster because he's day one edition. So he's a special deal. He's a special, special character. Exactly. So is this gonna be the first time we see him like as an actual teammate? Which I guess is th that's salty for the people that weren't able to get day one edition because they went out pretty fast. Mm -hmm. That's pretty salty. How you're gonna be able to see him do all the attacks and be all jelly? So are they? I don't know what they're gonna do. Or they're just gonna you know mess up and just put Gogeta Super Saiyan four in. Now one more thing before you do, as you start talking again, is. This Z Souls, what are these Z Souls? Because we have, if you don't know, we have a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Z Soul already. We have a Shadow Dragons, which I think is this is the true form of the Shadow Shadow Dragon leader. So, uh, is there gonna be new characters for the Z Souls? What if we get a Mira and Toa Z Soul? I th yeah, I think that's gonna be really possible. Now, because we already have Gogetas, and uh, there's except for like Goku and Vegeta, there's like one really main Z Soul. So. Uh, is Gogeta going to have two Z-Souls, maybe? Or, uh, Omega Shadow going to have each also like you pointed out, that Nova Shadow and Ice Shadow, are they going to have their own Z-Souls? So, it's just, it's a lot of questions. See, the thing is that in Dragon Ball Z universe, like, <clears throat> like, for main characters, I mean, it's kind of, it might be different, but, like, I know Vegeta has, like, two or three different Z-Souls, like, even Vegito, Vegito has one like this is Super Vegito, and that's a Super Vegito Z Soul, and he has another one which is regular Vegito, and that's his regular Vegito Z Soul. So maybe these six Z Souls, maybe they might be for characters that are already inside the game, and like they want to, I guess, expand the number of Z Souls that a certain character has, or these six Z Souls would be for Toa and Mira, Ice and or Ice and Ron, and well, Nuova Shenron. And I mean, there's only four of those characters, so maybe the other two Z Souls. Could possibly be maybe one for Omega Shenron, one more for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I am not entirely sure about this. We only know um, that there is you know these these new items in the game, and I guess we're just gonna have to you know guess and you know just put our heads together and figure out what they're um what they're, what they're trying to give us. And um, another thing I want to mention is that the what you were saying about the Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. I think what they might possibly do because I mean I do understand like GT like they they made the deals that GT will be in the game so maybe in the future they'll make it so Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta you could actually pay for like that one character which maybe it'd be like two or three dollars kind of what you could do in Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 1 and like so you know what I'm talking about in Raging Blast 1 remember <laughs> like on the PlayStation store you could buy characters yeah actually, but, story behind this too, but, but you know there's that would defeat the purpose of pre-ordering the game. Because we pre-ordered it not... Okay, seriously, we pre-ordered it not for the fucking game. We pre-ordered it to get Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So, wouldn't that just defeat the purpose of even pre-ordering it if you could just pay for it? Well, yeah, true. But then again, I mean, that, like... It, it's good on our side, but it's going to be really, really salty as fuck for the people that don't, you know, pay for the DLCs. But then again, I don't think um, Bandai Namco, are, uh, they're trying to focus on everyone buying the DLCs. This game is, like, the top-selling PS4 game for, like, the past couple of years. Or, for I guess, for the, you know, so far in the PS4. So, I mean, people are going to want to buy the DLCs. But I think that they're kind of, like, think they're, like, underrating the amount of people that are going to buy DLCs. Maybe they're thinking, like... Like, oh, there isn't going to be that many people buying the DLC, so, I mean, it won't be that much of a difference, because, like, you know, you can only get Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 from pre-ordering it, so they're kind of, like, like thinking that most people won't buy the DLC, because, you know, in the DLC, it consists of Super Saiyan 4 and Vegeta. What I actually want to kind of talk about before, you know, we, like, we kind of end this video, the new costumes, I'm looking at the picture right now, it's going to be on the screen for me, so... We see the costumes, I believe, is Mira and Toa. I wonder uh, what kind of effects those costumes are going to give. What do you mean by effects? You know how, like, every costume has its oh, own attributes? Oh, yeah, the, the attribute. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pre okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure Mira's is the guy, right? Mm -hmm. 
Fuck yes. Pretty sure he has a strong basic attack and maybe health, but I'm not sure. I think that um, Mira is is gonna have like the more stronger one because he's actually the dude that fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna have the weaker ones. And I also think that like, see, I was I actually have the GT. Um, I already bought the season pass. I actually have the GT pack one purchase, and I was playing it last night. And I'm also be doing the parallel quest for you guys later. But um, anyway, as I was saying. You could, like, all the GT clothes and everything, all the new GT costumes for DLC Pack 1, you have to buy it. And that shit was expensive as hell. <laughs> like, freaking, like, the attacks, like, Final Shine Attack, that shit's 600,000. I haven't even used it yet. 600, it's 600,000. It, uh, I'm just gonna warn you guys if you're thinking about buying it. It's okay if you are still using somehow, some way, full power energy blast. It's a lot better than that, but it's not worth 600,000, that's for sure. Yeah, like, there was, like, some other attacks, like, to, like, basically, if you're, like, like, only making, like, like, 800, 900,000, and you want to buy the DLC pack mostly for, like, or you want, you're, like, you're looking forward to buying a lot of stuff, uh, like, the new accessories and stuff for the DLCs, you might want to rack up a little bit more money before you buy it, because I, I have $2 million in Xenoverse, I'm good, and, like, I dropped down to, like, 1.4 million last night. And that kind of that got me kind of like thinking like if I don't like I I've got to stop you know spending money I mean I I still buy stuff like I still need to buy Z souls and stuff like that and capsules which are expensive if you buy a lot so just keep an eye on your money when you try to buy these new things then again these are in DLCs so they probably will have to make it a little I guess more expensive than usual because they're kind of exclusive items and like not everyone's gonna have them when you go like you're not just gonna go into a multiple lobby and see everyone rocking like freaking like a mirror or toa clothes so like. It's kind of like a privilege to have, and I guess that's why they're making them expensive. <laughs> so, um, if you want any, if you want to say anything more, I guess before we end this video. I know he talked about money, and I haven't made a tutorial on how to get money because he actually made one for his for scene sets. He made a tutorial on how to get money. So, with, with me, like, taking all his glory, I'm just going to link his video in the description because it's basically what I do, it, but it's from his voice. So, I'm not going to make a tutorial on that, on how to get money, even though I made a ton of tutorials. But I'm not going to want to make it on money. And probably not leveling up because he's done that doing this exact same way how I do mine. So, one more thing, one more thing, is that the attacks that were added in the DLC pack 1 were absolute shiz. Uh, the only, I could say, a decent one was Super Spirit Bomb. Every other one was either overpriced, <laughs> Final Shine, or just, <laughs> or just overly bad, <laughs> Kamehameha Boost. But those two attacks were so bad, so was Armor Boost. I don't get it. Um, and those were the only three attacks I found, and I don't know how much DLC pack one actually was intended to have attacks, maybe like 10 or something, because I only found three for a custom created character, so, yeah. So, yeah, but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, you guys can probably already see on the channel annotation, um, on the video right now, uh, I have XIDC's, XIX's channel on the annotation on the screen, and you can probably see it right now. Um, go ahead and check them out. The same stuff as me. Um, also... The, the link to the San Island post where I actually got the information from will also be in the description. Or I might put it on the annotation. Just look for both of them, unless you've already seen it. So, yeah. But um, any last words? I just see before One more slash. Uh, they're going to be here giving out Dragon Balls. I don't know the dates, but they'll be in the description below. I forgot them. But, yeah, they're going to give out Dragon Balls. Because if you guys haven't checked, you have a four-star Dragon Ball in time for delivery. Just saying. Yeah, but anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next video. And peace out, guys. Have see ya. Day.